awesome. While you're coming in, welcome to today's video. Really excited to have everyone here. Um, it's going to be a Q&A on some follow-up things that we have had during our video about how to use my EtherWallet offline. If you don't know what video I'm talking about, then click the link down in the description below um, so that you can watch the original video. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go in and go through a lot of questions and uh, talk a couple of things through. Um, do me a quick favor when you come in, drop me a quick line where you're coming in from. Always interesting to see that. Give me a thumbs up on that video. Google ranks these videos really high and I think it's so relevant and important that people see these videos, learn about crypto. Um, this is going to be really, really essential. And then I have a list of questions that I have compiled from the other video. Now, if you have questions, then post them into the chat. But please, I will only talk about questions about how to use my Ether Wallet offline. I will not talk about anything else. Also, please understand, it's my personal channel. So I will not only talk about 10x here on my channel. So if you ask questions on 10x, you will have to wait until we do videos on our company channel. This is just really relevant. So you that is here from India, Red is here from Switzerland, and everyone else is still gathering. So that sounds really, really good. So while you're coming in, let's go into the questions. The first question is, how is it even possible to generate an offline wallet when you are offline? Don't you have to be online? Because otherwise, you might have a duplicated address. One of the reasons why I do want to talk about this offline topic of my Ether wallet is because it actually explains a couple of things about blockchain that most people are not aware of. And the first one is this. You don't have to be online to create an address because there is no database that checks for addresses. Basically, when you create your private key, by coincidence, just by chance, you create a seat. And in theory, it's very unlikely, but in theory, someone else might have created the same private key. But it's really, really, really unlikely. And so it doesn't matter whether you do this offline or online because it doesn't get cross-checked anyways. There is no creating a private uh, seat. There's actually not a creating an account. Um, you can do this over and over again. It doesn't mean that an account is created. All these accounts actually all exist. They're just numbers where cryptocurrencies get attached to. So it doesn't matter whether you do this online or offline. You can just create this. And this is something that most people are not aware of and they don't understand. Also, this was a question on how do these random numbers get generated? Well, every good system, and this is open source, has an integrated random number generator. And it's impossible to predict the next number because it's completely random. It's completely by chance. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of factors that are involved. For example, some might use a system where the position of your mouse differs. It depends on the time plus a mouse position plus a lot, a lot of under random factors that are completely random and not foreseeable. And so it's absolutely impossible to predict the next uh, private uh, key. And the uh, possibilities of numbers is so insanely huge that probability speaking or probabilistic speaking, it's more likely that our universe or our Earth just explodes than you getting the same number as someone else. So don't worry about someone else getting the, the same number. Worry about an asteroid hitting the Earth, right? This is really, really um, important. Um, this is uh, very important as an answer here. So let's keep going. Um, there was a question on whether I do such seminars for small groups of people. Um, sometimes I do. It's not the main thing that I do. I really only do this when I have free time. Best thing is to write to Patricia at 10x.tech. Uh, maybe, Patricia, you can put in your email or put in another email where these people can contact you on. Um, but again, my main focus here is 10x and uh, I do these videos to give some value there. The next question that I had was, which um, operating system should you be using on the offline computer if you want to use online and offline? Um, it does not really matter, to be honest. Um, you can use Linux, you can use OX, you can use uh, uh, Windows. It does not really matter. Um, that's not the key thing. The key thing is keep it offline, and then the communication between the offline and the online computer just has to be secure. So be sure you are using a safe medium of exchange, so make sure that your USB sticks are safe and don't have viruses on there, because that is obviously a nightmare if that happens. So that's that. Um, the question from Gary was, do they offer an update feature? They don't offer an update feature of the offline files to my knowledge. So what you have to do is you have to check there regularly um, whether an update is available on the GitHub uh, repository. 
Uh, however, it's also not super relevant to check every week or every month. Um, that is, I think, really relevant. Um, there's a lot, a lot of nice messages from you thanking me and telling me that this is really clear and great. So, hey, I really want to tell you how much I appreciate this. Um, this is something that's really, really nice. I put, I put effort into this, right? I put time into this. I don't charge for that. So, hey, I really appreciate all these nice words. So, thank you so much for all these nice comments and the thumbs up and sharing. This is so valuable. Um, Kula asks, I'm using MetaMask uh, for my Ether wallet. Can someone tell me if this is secure? Uh, MetaMask is quite good. Um, so this is a really good um, extension for um, browser. Now, please be aware that it, you can't compare something to a complete offline storage, like a ledger or an offline address. So this is something that I just want to kind of mention there. Um, there was some miscommunication and Raphael said that there are no offline wallets. Uh, wallets. There's, no, there's only private keys and these private keys can always be checked online. So there's a misunderstanding in what a wallet is and what a private key is. Um, a private key is nothing else than a randomly generated number, hopefully randomly generated number. And the question is where do you store this number? If you store this number offline, so either in your mind, on a paper, on an offline computer, it's offline. And by definition, that's an offline wallet because a wallet doesn't store coins, a wallet stores keys. If the wallet is online, like a soft wallet or like a computer, a phone and so on, then these are online wallets. And this is something that is online, right? So you want to, if possible, store your private keys as offline as possible in a hard wallet, which is the best solution. The one I'm using is down in the description, but um, you can uh, store it on a paper. You can store it in an offline computer. Um, that is, I think, quite uh, interesting to understand that. Um, here was an interesting question, and that was from Como, and he said, should I be using uh, this offline my Ether wallet also when I use a ledger? Because no one can actually access the ledger. And you're completely right. Um, it's best practice to still use it offline. I mean, I do use it, but I use it on the same machine. The reason I do use it on the same machine, so I don't have an online offline computer, and this was also some feedback I should have done offline online, but to me, this was too much work making that video. And don't get me wrong, but my business is not making videos. My business is running a business and then giving you some info on this. And so if I would have to do this on two computers, I would have not made that video. So I hope that kind of makes sense and you kind of understand what means online and offline. But the reason I still use my Ether wallet offline is just because if there is an attack on my Ether wallet and my payments get redirected, which could happen in a very, 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 very unlikely case, it's just good practice. And at the end, it doesn't cost me any more work because I just go offline on my uh, Wi-Fi. I open my Ether wallet locally. I just create the signature and then I copy paste it to online. It honestly, it doesn't, it maybe costs me five seconds more in total or maybe a bit more, but at the end it's a lot safer. So I think this would be, um, yeah, quite straightforward. Um, fantastic. What other questions do we have? Um, great video, Julian. Hey, thanks so much. Uh, can I send a signed transaction only once or can it be reused? You can only send, uh, you can only use a signed transaction once. And that has to do with many reasons, but one of the reasons is the nonce. So the reason you need the nonce is because it basically counts your transactions. And the signature would completely change if you'd use a different nonce. So if you say, this is my, let's say, fourth transaction, then in this case, you would be using nonce three, and that creates a totally different transaction as if you would say, I would be sending the tenth transaction and you would be using nine, nonce nine. And this is a huge difference um, afterwards in the signature. And this cannot be faked. So the third transaction from an address can only be sent once. But there's many, many, many other factors as well. But this is just the very easiest one. Um, what else do we have? Talked about uh, random number generators. If you have any questions, I don't want to talk about mapping of EOS and Ethereum here. Um, I saw that question, uh, Joe Worm, but let's talk about uh, some other questions. I really want to say thanks. Clemens, really great team. Thank you so much. Anton, thanks so much. Um, hey, really, really nice words from you. I appreciate that. Uh, Clemens, if you don't have video, only picture, then maybe refresh the page, then it should work. Um, 
There was a really fair point from Sven who says, this is not ready for mass markets. Um, isn't there a better solution for this? Um, look, I totally agree with you, Sven, on this. I think there is... Um, that is not uh, mass marketable at the moment, um, but I think there will be solutions that are worked on, right? And so hopefully there's a lot of people here who are also entrepreneurial, motivated, they want to build stuff, um, and they find solutions, right? So one of the reasons I do these videos is because I want to inspire people to take action and to make their own company. Um, I think this is really, really great and helpful. So yeah, think about that. Um, there was a good question from uh, Domainify who says, or actually Nick, who says, why do I use my Ether wallet as an example? Why don't they use my crypto? It was purely because I wanted to use my Ether wallet. Um, personally, I think my crypto can have a really good chance. Um, I don't want to take sides on this one. The reason I chose my Ether wallet was because they had the uh, they had that attack. Uh, Semla or Semia Semla says I'm using my crypto now. The hex scared me. I can uh, I think totally um, understand that. So I think that's um, absolutely fine. Uh, look, Anton, I see you um, posting 10x questions. I will not answer any 10x questions here. We have a 10x company channel that's really focused on 10x on my personal channel here, and I hope you understand that. Otherwise, you can just switch off the video. I really focus on general topics, and I will. I'm specifically focusing on my Ether wallet because I think it teaches a lot about crypto and blockchain in general. And um, so that these are the questions I am going to answer here. So no point in just commenting or posting these questions. I hope that kind of makes sense. Awesome. Thanks, man. Um, Thomas asks, um, could you post a video on how to manually understand gas prices? And this is actually a really good question. I wanted to make a separate video, but here, let me post something. And it's called the Ath Gas Station. Um, the Ath Gas Station is quite funny. Here's the link to it. And when you click on it, you will actually see the gas prices and you will see um, what's happening with um, prices and times. So... And then you could, you could also just use this gas price. So you, at the moment, let me click on it, and I'm just live on it right now. Hang on a second. So if you're watching the replay, the numbers might have changed already. Um, hang on a second, just loading. So at the moment, it says gas price is the safe low is too great, right? Um, that's the safe one. The median, uh, it takes around 44 seconds for a transaction to confirm on Ethereum, and this is around three blocks, right? And as you can see this. So you could say, you know what, I'm going to use, and you see recommended gas prices, the safe low is two. The standard right now is three GUE. And if you want to be really fast, use five GUE. So this is a, a website I always use. It's called Ath Gas Station. Um, then you can do everything manually. So I hope that kind of helps and makes uh, sense there. What else do we have? Let's keep going down. Let me see if there's anything else. Um... Cool. I think these are all the questions that I've had. Um, I don't see any other questions right now that come into the chat that are on topic, and I want to keep it on topic. Um, and with this, I want to say thank you. We're going to do the same thing in German now. So I wish you a really nice Labor Day. It's Labor Day here in Singapore as well. The office is actually, I'm amazed how many people are actually here on a day off. Um, yeah, it's always good to have a day off, I feel. Um, I didn't take a day off, I was working, but I don't have any meetings and this really, really helps on getting some stuff done. And so I also want to take a couple of minutes and do a quick Q&A on my Ether wallet. So I hope this gives you value. If you like this stuff, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. All the links are down in the description below. Watch the other video, connect with me on social media and other channels. And for all of those that have 10x questions, please do me a favor. Um, we're gonna be doing 10x updates on regular basis, so just head over to our corporate channels. All the links down below. Thank you so much for being here, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.